If you've been trying to get pregnant, then you know how you obsessively watch for every little clue that your body might give you that you are indeed pregnant, sometimes even before you actually missed a period. And fortunately, at least for some women, your body does give some clues. Some are easy to miss and some you could probably do without. But whichever the case, these clues are important to watch for. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 early signs that you're pregnant. But first, I wanna introduce myself. My name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant. I specialize in women's health and gynecology. You are watching In The Pink, and if you're new here, In The Pink means in good health and spirit. If you like being healthy and happy, make sure you click subscribe because you are in the right place. Now, before I jump into number one, I always love to hear what brought you to this video. Are you pregnant now or are you trying to get pregnant? Put that in the comment section below. I love to read about what brought you here. And now let's jump into number one, which is always the most obvious symptom, and that is that you've missed a period. This is most likely the first thing that most women notice before they take a pregnancy test. You've missed your period because the lining of your uterus that was supposed to shed off and come out as period blood doesn't do that. And it doesn't because that lining is now the new home to the little baby embryo that is implanted into your lining. Now, if you normally have a regular period, like every 28 days, it's possible to get a positive pregnancy test up to six days before you've missed a period. Now that may be too early for some, so if you haven't missed a period yet and your pregnancy test was negative, wait till about a week after your expected period should have come and then check another pregnancy test just to be sure. Okay, number two, you get morning sickness. <laughs> Morning sickness is a feeling of queasiness and nausea and vomiting, and this is usually during the first trimester. The cause, while not exactly known, is thought to be mainly from the surge of pregnancy hormones, progesterone and estrogen. So if you're expecting a period and nausea and vomiting come instead, check a pregnancy test. Number three, you get tired really easily. Progesterone in particular is responsible for this. So a few of the physical changes in pregnancy include an increase in blood volume and also a faster heart rate, and as your body adjusts to these changes, you're gonna feel really fatigued. And it's also your body's way of telling you to slow down and to relax because you're growing a baby inside you, so your body needs you to rest. Don't worry though, because the glowing, energized period of pregnancy soon follows in the second trimester. Number four, you become emotional or moody. So just like PMS, hormones can make you feel irritable or sad, so you might start crying because of a simple cat video or seeing another baby. You might feel happy and then sad and this is all normal. However, if you start having excessive sadness and thoughts about self-harm, please make sure to talk to your advanced health practitioner about that. By the way, if you are pregnant, I've actually made an entire pregnancy series walking you through pregnancy week by week. I go over baby development, common symptoms to expect and how to help with them, what to expect at your next OB appointment, pretty much everything that you need to know about that week of pregnancy, we talk about in that video. So I'm gonna link to that video above here and also at the end of this video. Number five, your breasts become tender and larger. So both progesterone and estrogen play a role in this. One allows for the growth of milk ducts and the other promotes the production of milk. Combined, it makes your breasts grow in size and then the areola becomes darker and your nipples become more prominent and they also become sensitive and tender. This is normal and the tenderness usually goes away after you give birth. Number six, you have to pee more often. So I mentioned that the blood volume increases when you're pregnant. Your body does this in preparation for the blood loss that normally occurs during a baby delivery and also because there's another person needing a blood supply inside you. The increase in fluid volume translates into more urine. And on top of that, your enlarging uterus will also put pressure on your bladder, which also makes you have to pee more often and then more suddenly. And when you do sit down to pee, don't be surprised if only like a little bit comes out. That's totally normal. Uh, that's it. Number seven, you start craving weird foods or combinations of foods. So pregnancy can make you crave the weirdest combinations of foods like whole lemons, chips dipped in chocolate, avocados with jam, and other strange combinations. Be aware though that if you're anemic, which means low in iron, you can also have weird cravings. Some cravings can be for inedible stuff like small pieces of metal or paint chips. That's obviously dangerous because it's toxic and has no nutritional value. So if you ever have a craving for anything like that, make sure to talk to your OB. But if you're simply craving weird food cravings, just go with it. Hmm. 
By the way, what are your weird pregnancy cravings? One of mine was kid cereal, like Captain Crunch and Lucky Charms and things like that. Uh, put yours in the comment section down below. Number eight, you might have digestive hormones. Whoops, I meant to say digestive problems. So the pregnancy hormones we talked about earlier, progesterone and estrogen, prolongs gastric emptying time. This means that food stays in your stomach longer. And if you've already had problems with heartburn or acid reflux before your pregnancy, pregnancy might just make it worse. Also, you might feel bloated or constipated. Okay, number nine, you might gain or lose a few pounds. In the beginning of your pregnancy, you might lose a few pounds because of the increased caloric requirements of pregnancy. Plus, if you're experiencing morning sickness, you might lose a little weight as well. But some women are the opposite and start gaining weight early in pregnancy. Either is normal or you might not notice any weight changes at all early on. Now, of course, as your pregnancy advances, you're definitely gonna gain weight and that's totally normal. Normal weight gain is about 25 to 35 pounds throughout your entire pregnancy. Number 10, spotting. Implantation bleeding happens about 10 to 14 days after the egg is fertilized. Implantation bleeding is a small amount of blood that is shed off after a fertilized egg attaches to the lining of your uterus. And it usually happens around 10 to 14 days after the egg is fertilized. Light spotting is generally not a cause of alarm and it's also a common sign of early pregnancy. Now it can be a little confusing because the light spotting might be written off as just like a light period. So keep in mind, if you have a positive pregnancy test and you're experiencing light spotting, that goes away after a day, that's probably just implantation bleeding. Now, if you have a positive pregnancy test and are having really heavy bleeding, more like a period, make sure to talk to your OB. So there are many early signs and symptoms of pregnancy. And if you're pregnant, which one of those prompted you to do a pregnancy test? Put that in the comment section below. Also, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna link to my pregnancy series right here. Go find the week that you are at, maybe watch a video or two ahead of where you're at just to get caught up. So click on that right here and I will see you over there.